Indeed. Fuck. He's quite the imposition, is he not? Surely you must have known our disappearance would not go unnoticed. Sure. I assumed your high table would try. Put up a contract, send someone sniffing around. I didn't think they dispersed the devil. I presume our present location is not on any maps. None. Nobody knows about this place. That's probably why your friend started searching at Edgar Wu's place in Chinatown. Mr. Wu is in your employ. He was. He ran everything south of 14. Made no secret of our relationship. Well, he was proud of it. I honestly believed that Hex, you, were a fiction. A myth to keep the stuff in line. I worked hard on that. Staying out of sight. Until you decided to kidnap us. Yeah, until then. You have a higher purpose. And that purpose requires certain... theatrics. I always did enjoy a little theater.
to the end. He told Wick nothing. A stronger man than many would be in his situation. I presume from your demeanor that this was not the end of Mr. Wick's search. Oh no. He'd barely begun. Why on earth did you bring us here, Hex? It has been wonderful catching up, I must say, but there are other matters we could both be attending to. You are the key to a particularly difficult lock. You see, the high table who rule over your hotel, and the world beyond it, they're a mask. A polite facade, like all governments, over a simple truth. Power defines our place. Power defines our reality. The High Table has never been shy in this matter. All declare fealty. All must be of service. Well, maybe not all. All who wish to keep their heads? Hmm. The powerful. You see, they don't respect those who bend the knee. They celebrate them, flatter them, give them titles and lands and the illusion of self-determinism, but they don't respect them. Power respects power. To earn a place by their side, a man needs to demonstrate power. Is that why you plucked his own route? An attempt to demonstrate power? No. the steps of the Continental, on sacred ground, and fearing no repercussions. That demonstrates power. They will hunt you down. The adjudicator will, will respect me and my birthright. Please continue your story. I wonder where Jonathan went next. Elysium. One of Wu's clubs. Cheap thrills and overpriced drinks. Its only admirable quality is its owner, a brawler named Osborne. Man after my own heart. Wick thought someone like Osborne would know where to find me. But to ask, he'd need to fight his way to the center of a fortress.
Osborne was outraged at Wick's intrusion. To break into his club, kill his men. The young caged bear decided to fight him. Osborne's tough, but he's not so smart. Come <laughs> on. 
one was a dead end, and that might have been the end of it. If Wick had taken a different exit route. He saw something. Crates. With my mark. Wick knew where they'd come from. The docks. That makes sense. The harbor has become a dangerous destination in recent weeks. A war brews. Many dinner reservations. The king is dead. Long live the king. He had a daughter. A woman grown. I imagine she felt there was a birthright to be exercised. A contested birthright. They always are. They can test mine, too. You see, my blood is a promise. My father sat on the high table. It is my right to do the same. You're no Hochstetler's son. He lost his seat when I was just a young man. He didn't lose his seat. It was stolen from him. Oh no, I'm sorry, my boy. Your father deserved the justice that found him. He did unspeakable things, broke every rule we have. Kings set laws. They're not judged by them. I am sure that the new harbor master felt the same way. I use the past tense. I assume, given her later meeting with Mr. Wick, that this is appropriate. It is. A powder cake about to explode. And Jonathan, a man possessed by fire.
answered his questions, directed him to us. Pointed to the only person she knew could reach me, Yoshiko. The forger. She is an artist. To the world above, she's an institution. But to us, down here, she's a master. There's not a painting she can't forge, a document she cannot reproduce to your exact specification. I have seen her work. Likely many more times than you realize. It's testament to her talent that those above let her work with men like our host. You have to be very useful indeed to be given such latitude. She's exhibiting her more public work in New York as we speak, I believe. You seem relaxed, Hicks. I am. You see, either Wick dies in that gallery at the hands of my men, or via the contingency I've set in motion. I wouldn't want you to miss your appointment on the steps of the Continental. I've seen too many make the exact mistake you're barreling towards, thinking that they alone will succeed, where so many have failed before.
she did not at least try. Yoshiko has maintained her position so long by knowing her limits. She didn't stand a chance against someone like Wick. She knew it. And besides, she had precise instructions. Oh, your little contingency plan? Yes. Yoshiko directed Wick to a bank in Switzerland. She gave him the details of a vault containing information on my entire operation. My grand and impressive wealth. A vault which contains no such information. No such wealth. Why put your money in a vault when you can buy the bank? My employees led Wick to the vault and locked it behind him. Clean. How many have died attempted to take him on directly? I mean, for all the legends and stories of his skill, he's only human. Even John Wick would have died without air and water. If my men had been a little more patient. So difficult to find good help these days. Right? I mean, if they'd left him there, nature would have snuffed him out alone in the dark. But every fool with a gun wants to be the one who got Baba Yaga. The best laid plans of my sent men often go awry.
Also overestimated the loyalty of my man. Another ally for Mr. Weak? Of a sort. He quivered and cried in the face of the monster. Helped Wick escape so he could keep gulping down air. Smart. No. It really wasn't.
sniveling banker had armed Wick with one final piece of information. The location of my daughter's stronghold in the mountains. An important location? From there, she controls my entire European operation. She is my most loyal lieutenant. But above all, she's my daughter. A renowned monster. Oh, more slander. Your kind will stop at nothing to ensure fealty. To ensure we stay under your heel. You have yet to feel that, my friend. Whatever your grievances are, we play no part in your petty squabble with the high table. You are everything. You're their infrastructure. You're their illusion of class and etiquette, which they think shields them from the judgment of the gods above even them. You are the embodiment of their corruption, their hypocrisy. They cover themselves in rules and coins and bullshit, and they think that makes them human. Well, so you decided to start a war? You think I started this? I know you did. My father is no longer with us. The sins you perceive against him do not justify your own. The only sins that matter now are those of Wick. Against my family. Because what he did next was unforgivable.
much better. The seed I'm doing this for was meant for her. I'm sorry for your loss. Fuck you. And fuck John Wick. She did not tell him where to find you. Never. She was loyal until her last breath. Wick's search ended there. Blinded by ice and snow. He'll never find you. It doesn't need to end like this. If you let us go, mercy is a possibility. Where was mercy for my daughter? Without her, my birthright is useless. It's done! I'm done! It's all fallen apart! All I want now is for him to die. And you both to watch. You cannot possibly think you'll stand a chance. My man in Switzerland saw Wick catch a plane back to New York. He just landed. I think you're about to do something exceptionally foolish. So be it. I'm under City Hall Station. Come find me, you little shit. I'll be here soon.
Your God, that you won't live to lose what you've taken from me. Oh, this life of ours is a cruel joke, John. And I am the fucking punchline. Jonathan. A pleasure to see you again, Mr. Wick. A visit to the hotel.